Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, Twitter, Discord, support page. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There you go. Beautiful intro. Now let's get going with this beautiful game. So what I want to do is I have my um, button class open for some reason. I'm just going to close that. I kind of really, really like working with GUI and stuff. So I'm thinking we're not going to really use I'm GUI right now uh, for the editor and everything. Uh, I do want to show you how to implement that. I probably will. Um, but I really like working with GUI stuff. So we're probably going to make a lot of it ourselves, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I will, I will probably show you how to use I'm, I'm GUI as well, because it's a really easy way to uh, to get things started and it's really efficient as well I think it runs on different threads and everything and ours won't um, but yeah we'll look into that but anyway I have something really bugging me and I'm gonna go into state.cpp or state.h or state.cpp actually and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually remove this and I'm gonna remove the definition for check for quit okay and now I just ruined everything uh, there you go and now I'm going to state.h and I'm going to remove, I'm not going to remove this. I'm going to set this equal to zero and I'm going to name it something different. I'm going to name it um, end state update, something like that. You know, this is where we'll actually update the end of the state. Okay. Um, and then we'll go into main menu.cpp. Not that, that's not nice. I don't like that function actually. Uh, but for now, we'll keep it. Let's go into update. Um, update buttons. Actually, this does quit. That is that is good. That that is, that is very nice. Very nice. Um, that quits the. the actually, in, hmm. 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 What if I just remove that altogether? Will that hurt me? Nope, it didn't hurt me. Okay, so we have a way to quit main menu state, but that, what that does is we have no real way to quit our game state. Um, we, this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is whatever that is. I'll keep, I'll actually do the quit thing in here. I'll just copy this if, oh, sorry about hitting the mic. I always do that. I got to kind of change positioning here. Um, close. So I'm going to look for the close key bind, which should be there. And in our case, it should be escape. I'm going to say this quit. Uh, what we could do, actually, we could, we could create a little function right here um, void just a very simple void and uh, it's already called end state hmm hum 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 you know what never mind for now never mind I just uh, I'm just doing dumb shit let's just set this to true if I press the close button and we'll try this and my idea today is just fix this a little bit. Set another button for the editor. Just create another button. Uh, for some reason, this didn't work. Build. Wait, where is it? Uh, there we go. So we got to do this and we got to remove that. So we're not updating input there. There we go. Okay. Sorry about all that. So here we go. We got all our stuff. I said new game. I press escape and escape does not work for this state, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, and if I quit that, that quits. So this really just gives us other ways to quit our states and then we won't quit the state under it afterwards. So that's really good. So well, that's what I want to do. I do want to I don't like this end state thing. I actually just want that to be a function for for setting the quit to true basically so we don't have to do this quit equals true because that's bad programming practice 
So let's just let's do that. You know what? We'll just do that. And then define that. Uh, and then go into state.h or state.cpp and just say this quit equals true. Basically, that's all it's going to do. So end state, that's all it does. Um, and then we go in here, remove that, just like this, remove the end state from main menu state, go into game state, remove that end state, function us, there you go. So it's a little cleanup work here. I'm sorry about this, but it, it has to be done. Um, and there you go. So where do we remove that end state from? Uh, but first of all, we're just going to do this end state. And then in main menu state, that's CPP update buttons. And at the exit state, I'm just going to say this end state. You're like, what the hell, man? Why are you doing this? So dumb, dude. Don't worry. You so waste of time, all that shit. It's not because this is all the stuff that is our base. Okay, so it's very important. Actually, very, very important. Um, so yeah, there you go. I don't know why, where I call end state. I'm not completely sure about that. But pretty sure I don't call it anywhere. Let's just try to run it. Let's see what happens. Seems fine to me. Seems fine. No big deal. All worked. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Now we're all cleaned up and ready to go, okay? And what I want to do now is I want to actually start talking about the entity class and how the entity class is going to work. Because our entity, we're going to make it kind of complex. So it's going to be really easy for us to create classes using the entity class. Okay, it's going to have just about everything we need to create anything from a tile to a character and player. It's just that all the basic stuff these things need to be rendered and all that stuff. Um, pretty much we're going to we're going to uh, make sure it has it. And we'll just inherit from entity no matter what we do, which will make it really nice. And also we're going to use pre-compiled headers for all this stuff soon. I'm going to add that in later on. Uh, but right now we're just going to focus on this. So the first thing I need to do is I need to actually create a sprite shape. Um, I just call it sprite sprite. Okay, usually I just call it sprite sprite. And then we're going to need a SF texture pointer. Okay. And this is because, this is because we're not going to load a new texture in for each of these entities every time we create them that's why we have a pointer we're going to point it out to game which will have loaded or game state or any anywhere you create this entity um, it's going to actually point to a texture that has been loaded in into the state before so we don't duplicate textures and we because loading textures takes a lot of space and a lot of overhead um, so with that it'll be really easy to create new enemies or whatever items and stuff really quickly just by pointing to textures. So there you go. Now we have a few important things. All right, I'm just going to remove those two. And I like, wow, what the hell are you doing, dude? I'm just going to remove those. Um, we're going to keep the move. I'm going to close everything but this. I open uh, entity as CPP. So there you go. Now we're going to start working on this beautiful Beautiful game. You know what? We're just going to keep movement speed, though, for now. Like that. Later on, we're going to have some kind of a physics thingy going on. So that's going to... Whoops. So that's uh, we're going to use that instead. Uh, this sprite.move, all that stuff. Okay, so... And it's not 100% sure that we're going to have a sprite in every entity either. Okay. So... That's kind of how we're going to work with this. We're going to have, it's going to depend on like what, what we want to do, right? Um, and it's either gravity and stuff like that. So it's going to be very, very flexible in that, in that manner. Uh, so here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do delete this 
uh, sprite. And then we're not going to delete the texture because that should be from outside. But sprite is not from outside. And I'm just going to move this. Let me give you an example. So instead of just moving it, I'm going to make an if statement here. If this sprite, if there exists a sprite, uh, then we'll move it like this. And otherwise we won't do anything. So basically that's how that's going to work. And then we can create a sprite for this entity if we want to. So it's going to be kind of a component based system, a very, very flexible entity class, which will help us create a lot of different classes quickly uh, using this one. Okay. So I know it's kind of complicated. I've been talking a lot and shit. Sorry about that. But we will actually just create the void create sprite uh, function here functions move uh, and we'll call them something else we'll call them com component functions okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say void create sprite and i'm gonna give it a sf texture pointer texture using a texture obviously because that's how you create a sprite and then I'm just going to define that, copy this probably, and just put it here. So this is how we're going to kind of work with components. Uh, remove that. So this is just going to be our regular functions. So we'll build a very intricate kind of class. I think this is the route I want to go because it's it's kind of it's kind of nice to do that. Also, I'm going to set this. This is very important. Um, entity private uh, let's see in it variables we're gonna pretty much create some initializer functions as well and they're gonna be private for us this in it variables and then we're just gonna put all the important variables in here because we want the entity constructor to be kind of empty ish so we can just split everything up. Uh, this sprite equals null. Point, we'll just call it null again for you nice code block users. And then uh, this texture equals null. And there you go. Now, once we create the sprite, we'll say this texture equals texture. All right. And then this sprite uh, dot set texture texture easy peasy right easy peasy uh, this texture and then we'll just dereference that and we're good to go so we'll have a sprite ready if we want to create a sprite but that for that to happen we need to give it a texture and uh, we'll be able to move it if we wish draw this sprite uh, let's do that dereference that as well uh, if this sprite so here you go as well you we need to kind of make if statements to check if the sprite exists then we'll draw it out otherwise we won't um and there you go pretty much pretty much pretty much pretty much so it's a little more complex in that in that sense uh entity right here now i guess if we're going to game before i end the video game state i do create a new player object somewhere don't I hmm this player Wait, game state dot h oh entity player right here okay cool so it doesn't have anything and we're gonna try to move it but it's not gonna work uh, at least it won't crash that's the most important thing for now and then the next one we'll give it a little texture and we'll we'll create a player class and we'll go from there so new game, yeah, there's nothing here and we can't move anything. So there you go. That's kind of how we want to build it. Uh, but thank you for watching. Take care. I hope that was cool. I know I was talking a lot. It was kind of slow. So sorry about that. But uh, but thank you so much anyway for all the support, all that stuff. Check out the description box as always. Take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.